Hi Explorers, and welcome back to the channel. The Forsaken Explorer here, and we're here today with Kiwi Matt. Or K-E-W-M, Kiwi Explorations with Matt. And here behind us, we have one of the most well-known photographed locations I've seen on the internet of this beautiful old pre-1900 water tower in Litchfield in the Waikato. And I uh, thought we'd come and have a look, be the first guys uh, to make a video being that it's well photographed. It's nothing big or large to explore, but it certainly looks awesome, and we'll put lots of photos in the video for you to look at. So, uh, cheers for coming back and having a look. Let's get to the Explorer and have a look. Thank you for watching. So, rightio guys, here in front of us here, looks like this would have been a platform here for the train. This water tower services the trains, as you can see here, trains. Now um, I'll find some information out in the descriptions. I've just sort of taken a photo. Come and have a look. Now it does have some piping that overhangs the top of the water tower here. Assumably being that trains run on steam, this may have serviced and filled up the trains to fill up water being steam engines. So I, I may be incorrect in the information here. I'm just um, assuming at this stage. We'll find out the correct information as to what it was used for. So it's very tall, very awesome looking, and uh, very cool looking. So, as I said, no one's ever done a video. I've seen some awesome photography. So, it's one storied on the inside. It's so tall. I saw a ladder. Got some climbing rope. We might see if uh, we'll take you up there. Check the safety always at first. Safety is uh, number one paramount here with the safety next one. So what have we got here? Be young, be happy, be crazy. There's another tag in there. What else have we got? Some more artwork though. Some people call it vandalism. Some people call it artwork. I've seen that eyeball a lot. Cool. But let's look at the awesome detail of the ceiling, which is quite well done considering there's a tank of water above the water being when they constructed this. Very neat looking. So we saw some sheds here. I don't know what they're for. They're on the railway land. Maybe we'll have a closer look. But the wrought iron is very cool. This bar here is rather bent. The hinges look like they've given way. I mean, it is very old. The latch here is not very seized up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Not much to see here, but we plan on showing you a few things. These are train tracks out here. As long as we're in this here, we're not on the train track to land. That's on the other side of the fence here, so we'll see on this side of the fence. On the farmer's land where he's given us some permission to take photos of this tower. Right, uh, right so we'll make our way over here through this very long terrain of grass. It's very long, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, very long grass. It's follows my whole knee just about. We'll have a look at this old platform here. So platform here that presumably would have been a platform to catch a train or a loading dock of some description. Probably a railway platform. We are very close to the railway line so probably may have been over this side at some point or they had a lot loading dock here. This is history at its best. Very very long grass all around this area. Making our way back here through the long grass. Now I see a ladder here. We'll check it for safety and see that it's safe to go up. We have all the safety precautions to do so. So if it seems safe, we'll go up there.
Okay guys, so I climbed to the top, had a look inside, probably saw a bit of a footage there that Kiwi Matt got, and uh, it was hollow so I couldn't climb up on the top because it was just open, no top on there, so I couldn't get any uh, images of on the top, but uh, this was the Litchfield Water Tower, we thought we'd give you a quick glimpse, a few photos, and we'll carry on, find something else cool. grocery store, a liquor storage area, um, community place, it was a billiards place for playing pool, it's been many places over the years. I'm going to go and have a little look. Here's the outside here, you can see it says bank. It's currently a South Waikato Vintage Car Club. And they've given us some permission to take a bit of a building there, doing some painting and restoring of the building. Is, we'll just come inside here. Here is some doing some painting. It's a very awesome looking property, this one. I don't want to interrupt them inside where they're painting too much, but we'll go inside and uh, give you a gallery snapshot of photos. On the grass to the right of the building, there used to be this old hotel building here. It's yeah, now not there, uh... just grass. Right, so on the grass here, this is where a hotel used to be located, right next door, as we showed in the photo of this old property. The building just looks awesome. People here doing maintenance from the Vintage Gower Club today. Here's a little doggy. Hello, doggy. Doggy. Carpet is really cool, really something. Really particular, nice looking carpet. And here we are, we have a 1929 Chevrolet International. Uh, the cab is being uh, retrofitted or um, modified with timber. So the, the cab is actually a, what you could call it a Pro Mod really, because it is a composite body in plywood. And it has the original hand signals that you operate by hand. You can just lift it up. Probably got the original wheels and stuff on there. And uh, people doing maintenance on this awesome building here. This is one of their vehicles. It is uh, something quite spectacular. It's even on the uh, footboard there. It even has on the sideboard. It even has an old toolbox there mounted there. Look at the original old narrow tyres there. About as wide as on a motorcycle. At least you ride a Harley, then it's even narrower. You see the spear wheel there. Something awesome. So anyway guys, that's the end of the Explore video for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. So that was the Litchfield water tower that supplied water to the steam engines and also a historical building we found on the way 
Back, which is from the 1830s, which you'll see coming up in a photo shortly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, click that like and subscribe button. I'm the Forsaken Explorer NZ, and I hope you have an awesome day or night. Over and out.